guys good morning and welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i am having a bit of a busy day i'm going into manchester so i thought i'd pick up the camera and i'm actually going for lunch with a couple of friends and i figured i would make the most of the sunshine today get out get in the city get there early and i'm gonna go to zara I think first port of call i do also want to have a look in that sostren gran which there's one in manchester and one in ultra i've been to them a couple of times before you may have heard me talk about them but they're just a really nice kind of scandy homeware affordable place to shop so yes i figured i would get into town early hopefully i think we're going to try and sit outside for lunch today because of the sun i think we might go to oast house maybe we'll see but yeah i thought i'd pick up the camera i have spotted a couple of new in bits and zara that i am keen to get my hands on and then i do actually have a zara home order and an oi show which is owned by zara both of which are being delivered today have i got anything else coming no i think that might be it maybe a couple of pr bits but i'll show you those towards the end of the video but for now let's get into town let's get on the road we've just dropped barney off at doggy daycare for the day which he absolutely loves honestly it's the only place that I drive up to and he's like, let me out, let me out. And then he like pulls to the door because he's desperate to go in. He loves it. So anyway, I, yeah, will catch up with you guys when we get into the city centre. So just a reminder to those who are interested, this is the Manchester City Centre store. There's three floors of which I went to the ground floor and the top floor. They've got lots of new bits in, which I've noticed. It was very colorful, whereas now I do think they've introduced more um, neutrals and whites and lots of crochet bits I've noticed, embroidery on glaze, lots of dresses, which are my favorite thing to wear in these summer months, and also some really nice shoes and accessories too. Wishing for something better I try to fix things That weren't broken Misunderstandings And words unspoken We fall apart And I won't dare to say Do you feel the same way? Maybe you don't want to know But you don't see what You have in front of you I have also noticed that Zara has introduced a lot more linen across all different colours as well, which I really, really appreciate and love. I feel like linen in the summer months is perfect. It's nice and lightweight, comfortable, nice relaxed feel. And most of the labels that said um, on them with linen or 100% linen, so you could tell exactly which ones those are. I did also see a sneak peek. Is this a hint? to autumn who knows anyway lots more summery sandals and bits and bobs and i went upstairs to i think it's more like the trf range up here a bit more um younger and a bit more trendier i would say trend led pieces upstairs um but yeah i then took in quite a few bits to the changing room so you'll see that in just a second when i do a try on with you guys if i had known from the start this would never got in the change rooms got my bits to try on look at this bit of color for me a bit of navy and green in there and blue i just thought i'd quickly firstly show you what i'm wearing today so this um short suit you've probably seen me in it a million times now because i just love it it's so comfortable it's from ms and yeah big fan i've just paired with it this basic vest from h&m my chanel bag my Veja trainers for today these are the nude ones i've got the green as well but the nude are basically the same colour as this so I thought I'd wear that and then my Gucci sunglasses just on top of my head for now because we're inside and we don't need sunglasses when we're inside and it kind of holds my hair back which is quite nice and then jewellery I've just got on North Skull this is Lydia's collection the rings are Vashi and Anna Luisa and then my watch is from Rolex and this is just like a family I think my dad got this like in Saudi Arabia or something. Um, 
but yeah just a little gold chain let me show you the pieces that I've got I'm going to show you all the barcodes and um, details on prices and sizing so that if you do want to purchase anything then you can find them on the Zara website nice and easy so this dress in a medium $49.99 I loved the pattern of it it's just something a little bit different for me I just think that looks so expensive like it could be a designer dress this I saw model mouth if you watch her channel I love her vlogs and um, yeah I saw her try this on and I loved it so it's $32.99 I got it in a medium kind of paisley print green dress with a rope tie waist then because comfort is key with me always in a medium at $19.99 I've got these new style of joggers that they've got they do have the matching t-shirt with it which is $17.99 I do think sometimes if you pay the premium price point you do get that better quality then I got this play suit in a medium at $32.99 got loads of stuff with these with linen tabs at the moment which obviously is music to my ears in summer because I love wearing linen point in case is that right or is it case in point point oh you know what I'm saying reminds me of like a Moroccan kind of design this one this little play suit with a tie waist and then I did pick up this top which I'll just try on with these shorts I was looking for some nice trousers to go with it but I couldn't really see any that I liked the look of so $29.99 in a medium then this this I remember was $32.99 and I did pick it up in a medium but the only medium didn't have a ticket ticket what's it called a label I'll try and leave it linked below if I can find it it's just a powder blue cinched in waist maxi or I'm gonna say medaxi dress and then this is like for the hot summer's day I've seen so many people wear this it's like a crochet dress I got it in a medium at $45.99 and it's got a kind of uh, cut out panel across the midriff and a really pretty frill at the bottom and then last but not least this jumpsuit in a medium at $49.99 again with the um, kind of linen-y fabric it's just got the short sleeves turn up sleeves with the pocketed breast pockets tie waist side pockets and a bit of a gathered bottom as well but I loved the kind of light wooden buttons to this so yeah let's start trying on so first thing I'm trying on is this top again just paired with my MS shorts that I had on already it is quite a lot shorter on this side than it is on this side which I've just tucked in I don't know if that would bug me a bit and this is quite out there it's quite dramatic I don't know if it's very me but I do think it's pretty okay this is the dress that I had my eye on and I do really really love it it is I will say thinner than what I thought it would be it's quite a really like kind of lightweight fabric so I was a bit concerned that obviously like with long sleeves in the peak of summer it's gonna be too hot for something like this having said that I disagree with what I thought might be the case because it is so lightweight I feel like I've got nothing on um, I have just obviously still got my Vasia trainers on which is how I probably wear it more often than not however I definitely think you could dress this up for maybe like a wedding put on some heels and have it as more of an occasion dress I think because of the pleats and the cut at the bottom just kind of makes it a little dressier I don't know I really really like this one let me know what you guys think not obviously I love the color obviously I'm a big fan of the kind of sage greens at the moment so this is the jumpsuit I've just realized I'm not done at that top one in fact you know what? I quite like it open I do love this I really really do I love the fact that it's got pockets as well I just have a couple of things with it and the first thing is the bottoms are quite short which isn't a bad thing but I think because of the gathered part it, it keeps sort of like riding up and then just like catching so I find myself having to like pull it down but then I can't and it's just a bit like I need to like shimmy them down do you know what I mean the other thing is that there's loads of makeup and tan on the inside of this and that just puts me off I feel like if I'm paying full price for something that is like in stores brand new I just don't want to be buying it with loads of makeup in mean, if that arrived in the post with loads of makeup on I'd be so disappointed so I have noticed that when shopping around for quite a few of the things today that there is quite a lot of makeup in some of the things to the point where I haven't even brought them in because of it let me just show you what this looks like all the way done up actually that is quite nice okay I was really hoping to bring these kind of like more print dresses color dresses in as wild cards just as a bit of fun to vlog i'm actually really liking them to the point where i really want to maybe buy them and it just is something different from my wardrobe navy i don't think i own a single 
I don't think I own anything navy. And Tom wears navy all the time and we're similar colouring. I feel like my colour palette would suggest to wear navy over like black, which may be a bit more harsh. Um, and then this kind of style I think suits my body shape as well, which is a bit more, I'd say, pear shaped, bigger on the bottom, to have that kind of wrap um, and then floaty bottom is really nice. Along with um, casual trainers for kind of like a work appropriate look but also just summer's drinks when it's maybe going to go into the evening and get a, a little bit cooler. It's got pockets as well. I kind of wish I was wearing this today actually. Okay next up we have this what I like to call the Moroccan inspired play suit because of the colours and the print it just reminds me of it and the material as well actually. I really like this tie waist detail it's just something a little bit different so it just kind of hooks in there and you just tighten it like that um, or loosen it. Do you see what I mean? There's no like wrap around the back the back actually let me show you it's a real like low cutout which I think is really nice just a little something different it makes it quite airy and floaty for when it is quite hot the only thing I will say though this material on this particular piece is a little bit itchy for my liking I feel like I don't know if I gravitate towards it just because of that I do really like the fit of it though Mm. Okay, another pop of colour now, this time in this gorgeous kind of powder baby blue. Um, I do love this colour, I will admit that. I, I am a bit funny with colours because obviously I, I preach neutrals and obviously as you can tell I do love them. But my summer style is slightly different. I do like to venture into a little pop of colour, even if it's the more pastels, the softer neutral colours rather than the bright bold patterns and prints that we're seeing everywhere at the moment. However this dress in particular is doing nothing for me so you need to size down in this dress I would recommend. It's this a medium on me and the top part is gaping loads so if I pull it down to like fit on the top this band then sits right across my stomach not on my waist and it to the point where it just it doesn't look flattering at all it makes me look wider here across my belly. Um, so yeah, it's just it's kind of ill-fitting for me. It is nice, just size down. This dress is a big no for me for several reasons. Firstly, there's a tear, there's a rip there. So I feel like it's probably a dress prone to snagging. Also, the medium for me is too big on top, on the top part, like it's a bit loose and a bit baggy here. And then that issue with the non-adjustable straps that Zara often do, too long that's a problem and then just the shape on me is just not flattering I don't feel like pear shaped people pear shaped ladies out there I don't feel like this is a dress for us I feel like this is a dress better suited to maybe someone who's a bit more sort of straight because um, again you couldn't probably be too top heavy with this sort of a dress either and then yeah because of my bum like it just has a big sort of like baggy bit here Ugh, it just this one's a no <laughs> Final outfit now, back in my comfort zone of joggers, loungewear, comfort is key. This t-shirt is gorgeous, oh, well worth the $17.99. Joggers, however, um, again, Mark, is a Mark there? It's not great. Um, also, this is, the joggers are in medium and they're actually quite baggy around the waist but I feel like a small would be too snug around my legs for a jogger which essentially you want to be comfy. They fit perfectly around my legs. Um, they are a little long as well actually. I'd probably roll them up. I'm six foot five for reference. Uh, well, nearly six foot. Did I say six foot five? I'm five foot five for reference. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is what they look like if you are interested. I'm pretty sure they have this set in a black as well. So yeah, love the tea gonna leave the joggers. I think now actually, I've got like half an hour, I might just pop into Sustrain Green and then head on over to Yo's house for lunch with the girls. This is what's left of my meal that these two forgot to remind me to vlog. 
It was good. It was, it was, you know, he was so hungry. And, and it was delicious. Yeah, it's, it's very, very refreshing. Yeah. Ooh, just what I need. What a choose. I know. <laughs> this is the life, girls. Really, it's quite a lonely job, isn't it? But that's why we need to like meet up and come out more after. Especially like because when we we were at a point where we were having one to two sometimes three events a week yeah. and we would come in and we'd use that day to shoot yeah which obviously we, yeah. we don't do that anymore but because the events aren't on it's like we have to be a bit more proactive yeah. to actually yeah. book something in or else we just and then we just not. get busy yeah but like it's you actually yeah need to actively to make time yeah oh guys i had a right palaver then picking up my um picking up paying for my parking ticket in M&S. I always talk about the M&S car park is great for as long as you're parking there for less than six hours because it jumps from 15 to pounds for up to six hours, up to 40 quid. Of course I get there, put in my ticket, six hours and one minute. <laughs> 40 pounds payment which is ludicrous for parking. Um, I of course managed to talk myself, talk him out of it um the guy that was there like a security guy very very kind of him said um he offered to give me a ticket that was just under so that i could pay anyway he ended up putting through a ticket of only an hour's parking of six quid so um yeah so what was a 40 pound ticket i ended up paying six pounds which was great but anyway i am just on route back home and i've come via a um shopping complex i used to park here for my old job before all these shops were here um and yeah it's in like trafford and there's a big home bargain so there's actually some bits that i want to pick up for a potential white company dupes video so stay tuned for that but yeah i thought i'd just fill you in on my little fiasco but yeah if you do park in MS car park make sure it is under the six hours if not try my technique of maybe just asking the security if you can pop through a cheaper ticket for you you had me at I don't need nobody else. I got you. And you got me too. That was loud slam. We're back. Just unloaded the car. Picked up this one. Did you have a nice day at daycare? Also grabbed a Costa on route home. The traffic was pretty bad. But got home to a cherries order, um, which I'll do in a separate video. Some home web bits that I did pick up from home. Um, <laughs> sorry, it's licking my legs. Stop licking my feet. Um, and then some other bits, which obviously I got today, and then my Oy Show box, which has arrived too. I was like, just to have a quick sneaky peek at what the builders have got up to when I've been out. So I figured, although I'll probably update you guys better in a home updates video. Let me just check this paint dry. Yes, it is. Oh, is it? Oh, I don't know if you're allowed down here, Varney. Yeah, it's dry. Um, this is our basement if you've not seen it in recent updates. Oops, let me fill that. You can come down, but you've got to be careful. Good point. So, in here, oh, they have tiled the dog wash station. Just a little bit left to do the side bits. I've actually bought something for this space. So, Remember this space, let me flip the camera around and show you. This is our, what will be our utility room down in the basement. So for this wall here, um, I've got a couple of bits which I'm gonna share with you which are gonna be for there and there. So bear that in mind, there's patches behind that wall to support this. They're like a drying rack, so I'll show you them when, we're, when I get upstairs. Um, but obviously this is gonna be washer and dryer down here. So pretty much laundry room and dog room down here. Oh, Barney, come away from that paint, please. Golden Retriever fur and paint do not mix well together. We have had a bit of a dilemma. <laughs> dilemma. For this space here, which is going to be our storage room, I wanted to get, we had two sockets put in here. So either there or there, a kind of chest freezer to be able to order all of his food and just have excess freezer space down here. However, this gap here which we decided not to put a door on because it was so narrow and instead put the door here 
means that I don't know if we're going to be able to fit a chest freezer actually in this room, which is going to be a bit of a problem. What we might have to do is, if it fits through this door frame, which is quite a wide frame to be fair, put it in that back corner, which this space was just going to be storage for things like hoover, ironing board, cleaning supplies, that kind of stuff, which it still can be with a fridge freezer, not fridge freezer, a freezer, chest freezer at the bottom there. Um, it might actually be worth us getting a bit of a fridge down here as well for, again, spare drinks. So yeah, it's just awkward because it would have been ideal to be put in that room. But not only is that gap small, but obviously to, am I boring you? To actually maneuver around this corner is gonna be a bit of a problem as well. Dilemmas, dilemmas. But that one will obviously keep you posted in home update videos rather than come to shop with me in Zara videos. I have just realized my Zara home order hasn't come yet. I think that's due to come tomorrow. So I still wanna include it within this video. So what I might do is show you the bits that I have got now and pick up the camera tomorrow again because it's due, I've just checked the delivery, it's due to be here by tomorrow. So these are the things that are gonna go on the wall that I mentioned. Wall mounted clothes drying rack. They are 69 width, high 80, depth 63 once open. So that's kind of what they look like. So they sit against the wall and then this bit folds back against the wall and then lifts up when you need to hang clothes on it to dry. In that space, there's enough for two of these, which will be really handy for drying clothes. I like the fact that you can kind of store them away. And I did, whilst I was in Soft Strain, have a look online at the ones that I've been looking at, which I think the ones that I liked most were on Wayfair and they were about 70 to 80 pounds each. However, these were 39 each and also the ones on wafer are like white these ones are all white and wooden whereas these are just wooden like bamboo and i feel like they would look nicer than just the plain white ones now oisho not heard of it before it's also owned by zara it's just really great quality so i decided to pick up a couple of new bits Ta -da! So the first thing is probably not too dissimilar, I'm not gonna lie, from what I was wearing today. Labels very similar to the Zara ones. These shorts are in a medium and they do have pockets, which is nice. I liked the look of the leg line. I think if I remember rightly, they had a shorter version and then a more Bermuda style version, which I opted for. This next one is a little linen dress. Is it dress? No, it's jumpsuit with pockets which I love and a nice square necklace it's kind of like dungaree style that's an immediate then this dress yes this one is a dress love the look of this so this is the back of it how pretty is that kind of crisscross and then cut out over the back again in a medium I picked this one up I've just seen the front like panel across your boobs area are is double lined so that's quite nice for the backless part to go braless and then the last of the linen items in this kind of stone color is this wrap skirt so again this is definitely something that i don't already own anything like this again in a medium i think they styled it with just a basic white tee or something maybe even some trainers with it just for a different alternative to a trouser do you know i was just talking to lydia today saying that i'm in need of more looser vests so i've got things like this which are a higher neck thicker rib vest that's like more fitted and I just feel like I wanted something a bit more floaty like so so I got this in a medium again and then this is a little pair of running shorts the top part is like a workout legging um I think they call them the controlled leggings or Compression leggings, I think they call them. And then I also got, yeah, I did get some Capri style leggings. Oh, these are lovely, really nice. These are a close kind of option to, similar to my Lululemon ones. They're kind of like a softer, would be good for maybe something like a yoga as well. They're not too compression, because I actually don't like the compression leggings that much, or if I do, I size up because comfort's key with me. Very high solar protection. These have a UPF solar protection of 40 plus. Who knew that you could get fabrics that protect your skin like that? Anyway, last but not least, I got this dress again, that loose floaty kind of have your 
decolletage and arms out for when the sun is out. I was just, I felt like I was in need of a couple more pieces just for those really hot summer months. Those hot summer days, let's just say, because we don't have hot summer months here in the UK, do we? We just have the odd day here and there. But even when it's, you know, like today it says it's been 22, 23. Us girls were roasting on twenty when we went to Twenty Stories, which you'll have seen from the footage. We went and had um, drinks up there, and it was boiling. It was so nice, medium as always, and it's a really nice brushed cotton kind of fabric that I feel like. Can you see here? It doesn't like. It kind of looks a little creased, a little cheesecloth-y, and one that you probably don't have to iron. Big fan of that. Right, I'm going to get back in the garden, get some more sun. Tom is en route home and he is bringing chicken thighs. I did say to him, I had a pretty big lunch. That gyros wrap from Oast House was lovely, but I'm pretty full. Um, so I said to him, don't go overboard. <laughs> or if you do, for you, because I'm not that hungry, but we're gonna sit in the garden, have some vitamin D. They're building the frame for the roof out there, which is very exciting. Go sit out there and then, yeah, wait for Tom to get home and have some yummy food. And I'll pick you guys back up when my Zara home box is here. Actually, is that my Zara home box instead of cherries? I'm pretty sure it looks like a cherries box, but some of the cherries boxes aren't branded. Okay, guys, good news. It is. I know that I'm due a cherries order. Oh, in fact, no, <laughs> I've just realized I tell a lie. It's not Zara home, it's cherries. So uh, yeah, I'll pick you guys up tomorrow when my Zara home box arrives. Do you know what it is? It's because they've wrapped everything in this paper, which uh, Zara home do as well. So that's confused me. Good morning, guys. I've just taken Barney for a nice, Long walk, well actually it wasn't too long. I mean he had a busy day at DK yesterday so I feel like he was pretty exhausted anyway. So we went on about a 45 minute walk which for us is like a, a quick, fairly quick walk. I'm just gonna get ready this morning. I've not got loads planned today. I've just got um, some, a couple of little bits to film for work, some emails and editing to do. I'm just using the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter as always, let me reduce the brightness there we go just using charlotte tilbury tilbury flawless filter i have got a darker shade which i could probably get out now because i'm getting a little bit of sun um but to be honest with you it does blend out quite nice so i'm kind of reluctant to open my darker shade when i've got this one open i just the sort of person that likes to finish a product before starting the next one um, but I probably should get out the dark one. But anyway, um, yeah, so I've not got loads planned today. We may be going tonight to some kind of event dinner, but we don't know where it is yet. I say we because Tom's the one that's kind of had like the invite and the organization. If it were me, I would have known about it last week, had it booked in, you know, known the venue and everything. But with Tom, I just have to go with the flow. Karen's BB cream. Just a little bit. So yeah, because we may be going to that event tonight, I feel like I might end up topping up my makeup a little bit heavier at some stage um, later on this evening for dinner. So I'll just do a light base, a light bit of makeup for filming and um, getting those bits done this morning. I do want to, at some point today, I might do it with you guys, do a bit of a before and after. Um, downstairs of Barney's area because like his bed and everything needs a bit of a switch up. We, <laughs> I'm sure if you're following the renovation journey, you know that we are currently without a washing machine. So um, I'm getting by. It's probably been like a week and a half, but it's getting to the point now, especially with Barney's stuff like towels, blankets, bedding, that I, I tend to wash probably weekly. So, yeah, it's getting to the stage now where I'm like, oh, I really need to change it, but I've only got like a cup, like another spare. Passing Perfection Concealer from Collection. And I do also have all of the bits that I got for him from like Dogfest and stuff, like, because I wanted to do a bit of a toy basket switch over with him having a lot of skanky toys, you know, that need getting rid of. It's when it gets to the point of the stuffings coming out, that's when I tend to get rid of them. If I can wash them, I'll wash them, but otherwise, 
get rid um so yeah because i've got him a couple of new toys and a couple of new chews i'm just gonna have a switch out and i've also got that basket that i got from matalan a couple of weeks ago so i'm gonna use that toy basket and switch out his old one have a bit of a refresh downstairs apart from that i'm just waiting on my zara home delivery which i mentioned to you guys yesterday that i would share with you so as soon as that gets here i will of course fill you in on the couple of bits that i did get from zara home chanel bronzer what do they call this the healthy glow bronzing cream it used to be the called like the soleil oh there we go soleil tan in deep bronze they've got two shades now i believe or well, they might be bringing out a third one which is like an in between the two i personally prefer the darker one just because i feel like the um lighter shade you can kind of wear like all over your face whereas i like to use this more as like a bit of a contour like a cream contour almost bit of blush nars orgasm although i feel like i want to find a more peachy corally orangey blush charlotte tilbury palette and to use this shade here a little bit of eyeshadow just in the crease I'm currently using a new brow just because I got this in a PR. I still prefer the hourglass one, I think, but it's very similar. It's from Clinique. Quick liner for brows, and this one is in the shade Soft Brown, number three. It's got the little spoolie on one end to brush up, and then you can fill it in with the other. But anyway, I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup off camera, and I will see you guys in a bit, either when I'm doing a little, the little switch over with Barney Station, or when my Zara home order has arrived. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. Forgo, give up everything that I. So we've got in here his big antler this is from antler chew and this should last him forever and then i also got him a split one just because he tends to get through these a bit quicker i think he prefers them but this is one of their large ones so i'll put that in there as well then i got this recently from john lewis his very own barber wellington boot how cute is that it does have a squeaker in it as well and then just to add to that basket i also picked up this donut kind of rope ring because he likes like tug of war games so that's from fetching park and then i also picked him up one of these at dog fest which is from hunter essentially a little country duck <laughs> With a bit of rope and again a good kind of tug of war one so yeah that is going to be his little toy basket in fact i'll take that off and there he has it much more collated and i do have his first ever toy which i will put back in there but it just needs a wash same with his ikea dog as well that just needs a wash this bedding does need a wash but in the meantime i'm just using up some throws to be able to like put these in the wash as soon as we've got that washer to um set up downstairs and then i will wash this bedding as well so yeah for now this is what his little brand new toy and treat basket is looking like what do you guys think is that your new toys oh his ears flipped forward there we go been for a swim haven't you you're soaking wet oh the duck oh is that your new toy oh it is it you should see his tail right now that floof floof of a tail whilst he's discovering his new toy basket. I've had delivery of Mazzara Home Bits. Wow, I'm looking a little bit red. It's honestly, it's so warm outside. We've got Barney's cooling mat out as well, which these are brilliant. I remember him loving his one last year. He just was a puppy at the time, so he ended up chewing through it because he was in that phase. And inside it's kind of like a, like a gel formula. So I didn't want him to obviously intake that he's chosen the split antler i thought he would um rather than him oh itchy eyes rather than him ingest all that cooling gel i decided to pick him up a new one this year and just keep it inside i think the difference as well last year is i put it outside as well so it kind of got a little bit ruined or like sticks maybe caught on it it's maybe worth having an outside one and an inside one um but outside he's pretty happy just in the shade under the tree and then 
and here he's got that. So anyway, let's get into this Zara home box. Love a Zara home delivery. Last night, I got the text after I'd been to Zara, I'd purchased my new dress, saying that the sale goes live tonight at 9 p.m. So by the time you're watching this, sale will be on on Zara. So all of these items I probably featured within today's video, most likely are in the sale now. I'll be gutted if my dress is discounted loads, but it is what it is. First things first, I got this. I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of pricey. It was about 80 pounds, I think. And it is this gorgeous, well, they call it a kimono style, like, robe. Oh, it smells, it smells like lemon. I wonder if it's been in a Zara home store and it just smells really nice. But anyway, this is a, oh, it's limited edition. Hmm. This is in a medium. It essentially is designed to be, like I said, like a kimono style robe. However, the way they had it on the website, it looked like it could be something that could be worn out as like a nice layer with like leggings or something. I feel like I might feel like I'm in pajamas. Not gonna lie. So maybe it is better suited to just <laughs> loungewear. I did also pick up a pillow. This is one of their cheaper ones, the microfiber filled one, because they do have mixed and they do have feather as well but it's to replace tom's pillow essentially i'm going to try him with this one because i feel like when he has feather pillows they just misshape because he likes to properly sleep and do all of this so it really misshapes the pillow if you compare my pillows to his very different i do use a different pillow the sleep and glow one um to actually sleep on those so that's probably why minus my two display pillows are still in pretty good condition then i've got this which obviously as you guys know we're so close to getting the um basement finish the utility finish i thought this would be really nice kind of sat out on display on top of the dog wash station zara home on the front there it's embossed and it's just a really nice natural but like rough bristle brush for like your boots now our dog wash is kind of gonna duplicate also as a bit of a boot wash with it being a utility boot room down there. So I just figured this would be really nice just sat out on display, like I said, and then for practical reasons to be used as well. It just looks nice, you know? It looks nicer than just a box standard brush. It's got Zara Home on it. It's a nice shape, nice color. So I bought it. These really intrigued me. So I love shopping the home fragrance in Zara. Their reed diffusers, this smells amazing. Their reed diffusers are some of the best. I feel like I had a coffee one recently. I know coffee's not to everyone's taste, but it was duplicating a replica scent coffee break and it smelt so good. I had it in the back room when we lived downstairs and it filled that entire room, which is probably the same size as this one. So it's quite a big room and yeah, it worked. So I do love Zara Home for their fragrances, but this is new to me. I've never tried these before. They are scented soaps, which you pop in your wardrobes. You can just hang them up. It smells like a talcum powder almost. I'll put an image on screen of what they look like. They're like white sticks, but yeah, I thought they would be good to pop in the bedrooms. And then, oh, okay, this is, this is a bit me. I feel like those of you that know me will know that this is a bit of me. So I talk in this room about having once we've ripped it out. I have this run as some kind of floor to ceiling shelving, a bookshelf type unit, of which a little bit of a theme of games. So I've got some really nice kind of um, vintage style bookshelf edition games for Monopoly, Cluedo and Scrabble. And then any kind of like wooden games or marble games. I just kind of, obviously like not overboard, but this is gonna be a dining room. So it'd be quite nice if we did host to be able to like have games after dinner, you know? Anyway, I got this little bag which I thought would make a nice little addition on the bookshelf and it's, as you can probably tell, noughts and crosses. So you use the bag as an actual um, base for the noughts and crosses and then inside you've got the little wooden noughts, no that's a cross, and noughts, crosses and noughts. And then last but not least, I got these which kind of along the same lines as the other scented like soaps that you put in your wardrobe. These are for your drawers. So I have had scented papers from Zara before. Mm -hmm. I do actually have some still left, but I feel like the scent has worn off now because it's been in there since we finished the renovations upstairs. So probably six months. So yeah, I'm refreshing them with this scent and this scent 
you don't even have to open the box it smells insane that is everything that i picked up from zara home so not loads but just a couple of little bits here and there that i thought you guys might be interested in seeing so thanks so so much for watching today's video i am going to close it off here i um hope you well and truly spoil yourself in the zara sale get online have a look and yeah if there's anything that you spot that you think i might like send me links because quite often you guys will do that and i'm like yep yeah, that is exactly me i'm on the website and i'm shopping it so yeah thank you so much to you guys for watching i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys